Bennett Berge, 86 kilogram U20 national champion, 74 winner. Evaluate that match. Um, yeah, I got the three scores in the first period. And uh, you know, I'm a little mad because I didn't go go finish it in the second. But um, I mean, that's a really good opponent. Yeah, he's a Minnesota boy. Um, I'm sort of friends with him too, so it's, uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be a tough match. Uh, but I, just, I wish I would open it up a little bit. But how, much, how much has last year's U20 World Silver Medal performance help you in a competition like this? Oh, a ton. Uh, the confidence that a silver medal gives you or being on the world team is uh, crazy. I mean, he was a bronze medal last year in cadets. And look where him, he's in the U.S. Open Finals. So. Um, I think being on the world teams are awesome. If anyone gets the opportunity to do that, I mean, it's, it's an amazing experience. You're going to be at South Dakota State. How yep. fun is that going to be to have your brother coaching you? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, this past year has been, you know, redshirts here, they're tough. You don't compete at a consistent rate. And uh, but having him around is just awesome. I mean, it's amazing. I actually have family there, but then, you know, the rest of the coaching staff is amazing. So, um, yeah, South Dakota State is awesome. When you're in that redshirt season, are you able to focus on freestyle in any capacity? I didn't, no. Um, you know, I've, I have freestyle goals, but to me, my folk style goals are more important. Um, you know, I, I'm here because I love to compete, and that, that's, that's really the only reason. If I didn't love to compete, I probably wouldn't be wrestling, right? So um, th that's why I'm here, and I didn't really wrestle much freestyle this year. Yeah, how do you balance freestyle and folk style goals? Um, you wrestle, wrestle freestyle in the summer and wrestle folk style during the season. Uh, I mean, hopefully I go and make the world team in a month or so. And I, I do that, I'll probably train a little folk style and then jump back into freestyle like a month before the world championships. Um, just because I want to get better at folk style. This is a step. You are in the finals of the U23 world team trials. Yes. What do you got to do in the next couple weeks to get ready? Um, kind of... Um, I, I don't really know. I'll, I'll go back, talk to my coaches. Um, obviously sharpen a few things up. I think continue to get my pace a little higher. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing. I don't need to reinvent the wheel at all. I mean, it's it's get back to it and uh, get on the training plan. All the best. Congratulations. Thank you.